Hey everybody, this is Birch, and um, this, I, I don't know, um, have you, I'm guessing at least some of you have watched soccer, you're, you're familiar with that, I guess others, you know, I'm not going to watch that sissy sport, but you probably remember it from when you were a kid, and when I was a kid, they didn't really have this thing called flopping, I, I although I suspect, you know, I'm, I'm sure if I, my memory went back there, I'd remember that this, you know, this happened, you get the kid who's like, you know, you, when you tell the team, when you tell the players, hey, you know, if somebody fouls you, if you get injured or something, you get a free free kicky kick at the at the goal, and then you know you can you can win some points, and this is a this could be an advantage to you. And so I, I you know I most people are like yeah okay you know sure don't don't hurt people, but you know there's like that one out of ten players it's like so you're saying if I appear to be injured I get a free kick, huh? Okay. And, and so you, it's, it's been a thing. There's lots of YouTube channels out there, like, you know, most incredible flopping, most, most ridiculous things. You see two players and they accidentally like very, very lightly brush into each other. And the one player will like fall to the ground and, and scream out in agony and pain. And, and then, you know, the, the sports cast, you know, will rewind, like, let's, let's figure out where this person's injured. And then, and then, and then the crowd just mocks that that guy, you know, immensely. And it's all—it's all just a game. It's all just very, very performance-based, very, very fake. And I, I think, you know, I have bad news for you know fans of like American football and and some of these things. I, I suspect the whole flopping kind of behavior is is going to roll its way in <laughs> to other sports as well, because it's just—it's proven that you know if you could kind of forget about your pride and how stupid you might look. It can be a successful technique for you. It, 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 it'll be all right. You can you can basically, you know, it, it, as long as you don't have any pride or you know sense of honor for the game, then uh, you know it can it can work in your favor. Even if uh, one out of every, you know, only one out of ten times it actually is successful, it's it's free points. So what does this have to do with comics? Well, to me, a lot of the fights that go on on uh, on social media, um, but when where where we can see them. It's it to me it's all incredibly performance based. It's all like flopping in soccer. It is you see, you know, and it just you see these different fights and you see people get really wound up and really ag- agitated about it like somebody has committed a, a huge huge sin. You know, the once upon a time there was uh you know there's been stories of like uh you know one creator dangling another creator out the window of a tall building. Yeah, it's more serious, right? That's something to get outraged about. That's something that, you know, you know, probably needs some investigation. It's not a good thing. But today like like you got that uh, the stupid controversy over, hey, this comic has too many pages where you know, uh, where where people are talking. And the response to that being like, how dare you? How dare you, sir? It's like it's like somebody just went in and like screamed the uh, the n-word uh, out loud into a huge crowd. It's like it's it's the most it's, it's absolutely heinous, and, and people have to, they're like, you really should have worded that better. I mean, that was a, a direct assault on uh, the, your fellow comic creators who, are, who, will, who will never recover emotionally from this, this horrible damage that you've done to them. And, and there's so many things like that. Like, there, there's, there's a bit out today where, you know, some random person, I, don't, I have no idea who it is, is like, hey, here's some words we should retire in 2021. And it's stuff like, uh, you know, just, you know, the, the typical, the typical stuff that you hear over and over in Twitter. By the way, this happens every freaking year. Every year there is, uh, there is somewhat, uh, <laughs> there's this list of things we should ignore. You know, we're coming up on things like, uh, you know, people are not going to hear social distancing next year. I mean, nobody wants to hear that anymore. So it's like time to retire. So this list this person puts out is like, I did a thing. And adulting. And, and God, who's not sick of adulting? Like, I, I have to do some adulting today. You sound like an idiot. I, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, to me, like gaslighting, uh, which people know I've complained about this in the past. It's like these terms that, that start to have no meaning and they just get overused to death. And it's uh, it just it gives you all the feels. You know, the struggle is real. It's it's that kind of stuff that just, you know, it, it's it's tiring. And what's curious about that, because people are bored, you know, you can only stay riveted to uh, impeachment hearings for so long. Uh, it, what was weird is this this tweet gets picked up by a bunch of uh, people in the comics industry. And when I say people in the comics industry, I mean, you know, not, not really. I mean, they're in the comics industry, yes. But 
you know, it's kind of like the guy at, you know, who's, who's manning the, you know, the, the counter at Arco being in the oil industry. I mean, they're, they're in it. I mean, they're sure. But you know, are they really, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, I, you know, they've not really uh, decided to get really, you know, soccer player performance level flopping angry about this. Like how dare, how dare you, sir, tell people how to speak. How dare you try and limit their freedoms in what they can say? You're not Twitter. No, I'm I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just, just, just kidding. I, (laughs) you know, as an aside, um, how many people think that if Twitter would have ultimately uh, banned Trump, like, like three and a half years ago, early in on his uh, term, if uh, things would have actually worked out better for him and the Republicans, like how much, how much of this chaos got stirred up because of feeding Twitter? I, I, I'm, just, I'm asking honestly. I, mean, I just, I wonder, like, you know, if you had abandoned him like, like four years ago, I, he might have been better for his presidency. I, I don't know. Whatever. That's a idle speculation. Let the downvotes commence. But at any rate, um, the, the amount of, of, you know, you wounded me deeply. How dare you? How dare you? If the people, again, in the comics industry comparing this to colonialism, and and forced speech and it's it's just it's absurd and it got me thinking how many of the comic arguments that we see day in and day out are completely theatrical are completely performance based i i it's it feels i think most of them like I, it feels like all of this stuff <laughs> as close to all of it as possible because every now and then you get a real problem like uh, you know, hey, this uh, this this creator got stiffed out of a bunch of royalties and uh, now can't afford surgery, and they're having to open up a GoFundMe because uh, they're you know they're 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 broke and their their leg can't get re- be healed and it's like this is a huge mess, and it's like the the comics industry and the fan everybody nobody knows what to do with that they're like oh crap this is a real problem I uh huh well um. Retweet, like, thoughts and prayers. Good luck. Uh, but but it, it, there's just so much less engagement. But if you get into something like, you know, somebody complaining that the color green is used in covers too much, then it's like, ah, how, how dare you? Have, you have attacked my very sense of self and pride, and I don't know if I can continue in this world. This is why... I, this is why I have to smoke so much weed at night just to get myself to sleep. I, I, I'm on all the pills. I'm all the pills because of your cruelty, your, your horrible statements. I do think that online bullying is a real thing. I do think that there's a lot of pieces. And I do think, frankly, again, I, I recommend you watch the, the, the show A Social Dilemma. You can see how the social media companies themselves have created a mechanism that plays on your emotions and makes it very easy for it to do that. I mean, arguably, there's culpable with the bullying or more so than anybody else, but it is true. You know, as somebody who's raising two daughters, you know, that's something I got to work with them on. It's like how you deal with, with this kind of stuff. Cause it's going to hit them. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it did in a very light way and it was a, it was a wake up call. Um, I don't let my kids have social media accounts. I mean, it, I'm, they'll come at some point, I'm sure, but not now. Uh, but, but it, it, it is, it is a, it is a real thing. I'm not saying that all the, the bullying, all the harassment, all that kind of stuff is fake. Not at all. Definitely, there's real harassment. Definitely, there have been, you know, people in comics, creators, who have had, you know, hundreds of people uh, all try and just go into every single tweet they ever did and trash it and make their life a living hell and call them terrible names and other things. And people have gotten very casual about throwing around death threats. they like, you should just die. You know, they just got very, very casual about that. I should say for the record, saying you should just die and I'm going to work to make that happen are two different, there's, there's two different levels of death threats. Neither is good, but one is definitely worse than the other. I mean, you know, it's, one is, is, anyway, it's all bad. Uh, so, I, again, this is not me saying there's no such thing as, as the internet bullying and harassment. There definitely is. But I think there is definitely also a thing where there is a, a huge exaggeration of harassment of this kind of stuff that, that feels like I always think of a soccer game and flopping. I think about somebody who's, you know, somebody did something kind of rude. Somebody was an asshole, said something rude. And the person acted like it was just the, just 
the, the end of the world, just the absolute worst thing in the entire world. And, and, and it, why it feels like a performance is if you are truly wounded, if you're truly attacked, if like you, truly your self-esteem had just crumbled into dust, would your first instinct be to go onto Twitter and then tell everybody that you were wounded like this? And then in some cases, and I've watched creators do this, they say it, they say they were wounded, they get no response or very little. They get like, hey, there's three likes for you. And then they'll retweet their own comments. And it, it, I always, I picture that it's like, hey, me, me, look at me over here. Me, 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 checking me out. I, I got, I got hurt. Everybody, me. And it, it just feels like too much of a game. And there, there's people who daily do this stuff. And I, I just, none of it seems real. It all seems like a complete performance. And I realize a lot of what I'm saying is, is not strictly related to comics. You could put this to, to a lot of things. It's just social media and the, the, the problem with social media. I don't know. I, it, it, it feels very performative. It feels very fake. And I think it, it, it underscores the problem with social media in general and kind of how we are now trained to communicate and how we're trained to act and how we're trained to, to deal with problems. And my, my largest concern all in all this is I do think, you know, it's a boy who cried wolf scenario. I think there are definite problems. I think there are bad things that go on. And I think if you wake up every single day and get offended by randos on social media for performance reasons, people are going to stop listening to you. They are going to stop caring. They are going to stop paying attention. And then when a real problem does occur, it's going to go under the radar. When a comic creator maybe does need some money to have a you know life-saving surgery, or maybe when somebody is, uh, you know, is, is truly dealing with a bad situation at work of somebody who's taking advantage of their position of power, whatever it happens to be, it, it makes it that much harder for this stuff to get out when you're bitching about being emotionally wounded by somebody saying, hey, you know, it'd be nice if we didn't say adulting so much because, God, that word's annoying. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm going to go adult some. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. Yo, like and subscribe. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm stupid. That's what you can do. You can downvote. My, my, uh, my self-esteem will be intact. I'll be okay. I'll, I'll soldier on. Somehow, some way, I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> Thanks for listening.